my beloved people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Blessed people, the Lord Yahweh, he has spoken with me today. This morning, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah Yahweh, the mighty God of Israel, the creator of all men, the creator of heaven and earth, Jehovah El Olam, the everlasting God, he has spoken with me this morning in a very, very serious conversation. And in this conversation, the Lord spoke with me about the judgment of the Lord coming to Kenya. And in this judgment of the Lord coming to Kenya, then the Lord showed me the severest judgment ever. The most severest judgment ever coming to the nation of Kenya. And I see Kenya tried to close the door to that judgment, but it was a little too late. It was the most severe rest judgment. It shocked me very much. It shocked me very, very much to see the wrath of God that is coming to Kenya. Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Sabaoth, the severest of all judgment, the most severe of all the judgment of the Lord, he showed me this morning coming to Kenya. It shocked me very much. Then I understood. I understood that the Lord is angry. God, your creator, is now angry. So when I woke up, I had reviewed everything that Kenya has done, and I realized that Kenya has severely offended the Lord. Kenya has severely offended their maker. So when Kenya attempted to touch these two most glorious prophets of eternity, Kenya really, really hurt the Lord. Hurt the Lord so much irreparably that cannot be repaired. Because on a daily basis, the Lord is speaking about how he is coming to strike Kenya in the most historic manner that all nations will fear. Now I understand that whom much love is given, much responsibility is expected. Now I understand that when he showed the wonders and the creepers are walking in mass in thousands, the blind and mass in thousands are seen, including Kemuma now in Kisi. This is probably her sixth day seeing new eyes. And now she's doing things, people are recording her doing things, learning how to walk with sight, how to touch things, uh, asking things. So when the Lord does those things, now I understand there's a big responsibility that is expected of you. The deaf, the mute, the paralytic, HIV, leprosy, that body has been resurrected here. Now I understand that when the land attempted to touch the most glorified prophets, the ones that are moving two, two, the two prophets of the Lord, walking two together for the first time since creation, moving two and different personalities, different persons, moving two together. One is always in the background and oscillating their position, one from the other. Every few seconds, the front one goes forward, the back one goes forward, the front one changing and oscillating. That wonder that when the Lord does that and he brings them to your land, there is a big responsibility that goes with hosting them. You cannot error. Your wisdom cannot let you down. On these two, the glory of the Father has covered them totally. You cannot, you cannot error. You cannot try to tribalize them, to nationalize them. You cannot try to cause force because they are walking very holy. Now you try to force a scandal, to force a scandal. You cannot. 
you will not. You will not get away with it. I have seen the severest of all the judgment of the Lord come into Kenya. And Kenya tried to close the door to the judgment of the Lord. Sorry, it was too late. It had entered. Very severe. Then I saw the two prophets of the Lord ministering at Central Park. I saw one of them facing another direction, another facing another direction. They were ministering together. One of them became glorified again, totally glorified. The other moving this way and so forth. You cannot err on this one here. Announcing the kingdom of God. The forerunner announcing the coming of the Messiah. You cannot error. Never. You have to cast the flesh. You cannot touch. The forerunners of the Messiah announcing the coming of the Messiah. You cannot touch. Announcing the coming of the kingdom of God. You cannot touch. You cannot. The Holy Spirit himself in bodily form, like he did the Messiah, has settled on them. You cannot touch. You will get hurt. It will hurt you. He will crush you. It will not matter how many creepers have walked. He will crush you. You cannot publish in your papers. You cannot blackmail them. Never, 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 ever. Heaven will not forgive you. The Lord will not forgive you. Heaven will not forgive you. You cannot. I see you running. I see you running. You have nowhere to run to. You have nowhere to get to. Nobody can run away from the judgment of God. You cannot touch. You will not touch. You will not touch them and get away with this. Never, ever, never. Never. You cannot touch. You will not touch. It's bad. Things are bad. Things are bad now. You cannot touch. You cannot touch, get away with it. The book of Exodus 23, verse 21. From verse 20 says, Behold, I am sending an angel before you to protect you along the way and to bring you to the place I have prepared. Pay attention to him and listen to him. Listen to his voice and do not defy him. Do not bring your rebellion to him. Do not bring your apostasy to him. For he will not forgive you. He will not forgive your rebellion since my name is in him. But if you listen, if you will listen carefully to his voice and do everything I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and the foe to your foes. He says, you cannot, you cannot 
It is virtually unforgivable. He will not forgive you. Never. He says, Jeremiah 18 verse 7 on, he says, at any time I announce that a nation or a kingdom will be uprooted, torn down and destroyed. The way he's announcing now, he's announcing that Kenya will be uprooted, torn down and destroyed. But if that nation I want turn from evil, then I will relent of the disaster I had planned. You cannot get away with this. He says, to show you the way, to lead you to the place I prepared for you, but you cannot touch. He will not forgive you. Now you will know that they came up from the throne of God Yahweh. Now we will know. Finally you will know. Second Chronicles chapter 7, from verse 13. If I close the sky so there is no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, like I saw this morning, this past night, the tremendous locusts that devoured everybody, everything. In this land. If I, or if I command the locust to devour the land. Or if I send a plague among my people. And my people who are called by my name humble themselves. And pray. And seek my faith. And turn away from their wicked ways and sin. Then I'll hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. And he says, and now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer offered in this place. He says, repentance. If there is any human being, any soul in this country, May 19th, you will never ever miss Central Park here in Nairobi. If there is any soul in this land that wants to save this land, you will run to Central Park May 19th and cry to the Lord. Who he says, He will not forgive you for touching them. And the Messiah is coming. You lose this revival, you go to hell as a nation. Praise the Lord.